Coming up next, we take you on a Jetpack Joyride and finally look at the most popular plugin on WordPress. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, it's always a pleasure to see you. Today, Absolutely. we're going to talk about Jetpack. What's that? It's a Jetpack Joyride. You've never <laughs> been on one? I, I, I'm i going on one today, I suppose. <laughs> um. We're going to look at Jetpack. Jetpack is the plugin from WordPress, from Automatic, from WordPress.com, all these great people yeah. who build WordPress. Um, this is a very interesting plugin. We kind of looked at it a while ago. Yeah, we took a look at the Photon plugin, specifically with Scott and I. It was yeah. actually another episode of this show where we looked at it had just come out, Photon, but obviously plenty of other mm -hmm. um, other options available as well with this plugin. It's a huge plugin. Mm -hmm. It basically takes a lot of the core features of WordPress.com and sort of throws them on your self-hosted WordPress.org website. Yeah, it almost begs the question, when, why should they be adding all this function into a plugin? Why not just add it add into, it into, in, WordPress into WordPress.org uh, downloads? But we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at why they're kind of doing some of this stuff. Uh, before we do get started, we want you to subscribe. We want to hit 500 YouTube subscribers, so just go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, hit up our site, slocumstudio.com slash blog and slash subscribe to join the newsletter, and you'll know when this awesome stuff comes out. Absolutely. All right, Jetpack for WordPress, jetpack.me, 4.2 million downloads on the repo, 3.7 out of 5 stars. Not, not a bad rating at all for a uh, plugin that has 4.2 million downloads. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite a good uh, good response. Yeah, considering you're always going to have your detractors. Right, yeah. Uh, made by the folks at WordPress.com to add cloud sharing features to your WordPress hosted yeah. site uh, or self-hosted WordPress yeah. site, um, and we use it in some of our projects. So let's take a look at some of the fun features uh you talked about Absolutely. photon photos before absolutely um what was that all about so a lot of great photo stuff with that and we'll go, kind of go into all of it right now but photon um basically a way to serve photos mm -hmm. uh to your website using wordpress servers mm -hmm. using their own servers jetpack servers mm -hmm. so you that what that does is that that eases off your own server that you're using on your self-hosted website mm -hmm. so that it might load a little faster mm -hmm. might be a quicker way to just jump and grab your photo and bring it onto your website mm -hmm. which is always important yeah so if, why is that good for me well let's say you're a blogger and all of a sudden you get your blog post on hacker news or a local right. news channel or cnn or something like that it's going to help a little bit on the page load for the images and, and things like that. It's going to content <clears throat> delivery network is what it might be referred to as more technically. Absolutely. Um, so it'll do fun things like that. It, it's great. And, and it's also great because there are so many other photo options with, with this. Obviously, you're going to be serving potentially retina-ready images, which are going to be huge files. So you want to be ready for that. But also, built into Jetpack, there are other um, add-ons uh, to this plugin, uh, one of which is Carousel, which gives you that face -like, Facebook-like image viewer mm -hmm. where the screen goes black black and you have your gigantic photo and you can kind of just kind of hit left or right and scroll through your pictures. We have tiled galleries. So if you're a photo blogger or a business showing off um, a gallery for some, some such for some reason, uh, kind of Im impressive and pretty little tiled galleries and you can kind of move around the photos as you'd like. That's um, one of the big things that they changed in WordPress 3.5 was the way the galleries and media is controlled. Yeah. So now you can actually create, this is something you couldn't do before, is you can actually create galleries uh, within your gallery, right? right? So galleries that you're actually putting right. short code into the page. You always had to reach out to other plugins to do this. There are still better plugins to do this. We kind of looked at some sliders yeah, last we, week yeah, that, yeah, that did that stuff. Absolutely. Um, but this is actually creating a photo gallery. And it's, what it's doing is taking that photo and loading it full screen very nice, very well presented. But then they also have some other options. How's that gallery actually look on the page before you even click the photo? You can do like yeah. circles and, and, yeah. and tiles and stuff, and that's really cool. It is really neat. Uh, additionally, another visual aspect to your website is they do have Gravatar support full on. So they have a plugin or add on to this called Gravatar Hover Cards that allows you to basically display the hover card or the Gravatar uh, image business card of the person commenting on your WordPress powered website. What are some of the other technical things we have? Uh, notifications on the on the on the top bar. This is good if you're um, blogging across many sites or if yes. you're blogging on dot com, you can get these updates, um, you know, much like uh, the Gmail leaves you a number one when you have the new email or something like that. 
Yep. Getting your information is also easy. They have their page statistics as well. Yep. So if you want to go ahead and get, you know, your click rates and things like that, search engine terms, you know, searching by keywords, things like that, see how many views and visitors you have. So things as simple as that, uh, they have full support for all that as well. It does some other cool things. So mm -hmm. some people might say, well, I have Google Analytics. What do I need this for? Uh, well, this is probably a little bit leaner, a little bit cleaner. Yeah. It integrates right on the dashboard and it does uh, a daily snapshot, a weekly snapshot and a monthly snapshot. Uh, I do run both. I run Google Analytics right. just because you have to. Um, it's yeah. a kind of de facto where if you really want to see where right. your search traffic is coming from, that's a great mm -hmm. way to do it. Um, yeah. But Jetpack's stat, WordPress.com stats pull in a lot of the same stuff. Yeah, and I almost wish that, you know, the people who make this here would make Google's analytics stuff because it's just way more clean to look at. Yeah. It's very visual bar graphs a lot of times um, versus like a the histograms and you know these dot scatter right, charts you see right. and, like, I, and I think that's where they're that's what they're trying to absolutely. they're trying to appease they're absolutely. trying to get that simple crowd to say not you know that simple view for that crowd to say you know this is just easy I, I can just click right. to see who came yesterday yeah. and you know I can see out the outbound clicks too which is really cool want to age the show a little bit sure Remember when we talked about backup plugins for uh, WordPress? Yes. Yep. <laughs> like episode two, I think, or episode yep. one. Yep. Um, they also have something called VaultPress built in. Yep. So you can back up all your stuff on your website uh, to them as well over the cloud, mm -hmm. uh, which is which is also fantastic. Yeah. So this is interesting. This is a service that they sell. So yep. it, it's also something that we're starting to see a little bit of commercialization right. creep into .org from .com. Right. Interesting. Right. Interesting. But they do have that vault press yep. um, access as well. Um, typical, typical stuff, mobile, mobile interface stuff. They actually have a full mobile theme. It does use uh, 20. I looked into it. it does use the 2011 responsive theme mm -hmm. um, to work or something that looks very similar or is based on the same sort of architecture. But still very cool if you just want to get up and get running with your website. Um, Mobile push notifications only if you have iPhones or iPads, mob Apple mobile devices. What it allows you to do is basically get notifications when people comment to you that way if you want to be bothered with that. Um, one thing that we found as well is the contact form. Uh, we use Gravity Forms, I believe, more often than we use their own th their own stuff. But you know, contact forms is a much sim uh, a much kind of simpler looking and simpler functioning, to be honest, as well, um, version of a contact form. Yeah. So. Uh I'll, I'll play my devil's advocate kind of, <laughs> kind of role in this. I, I said we, we're starting to see .com creep in a little bit of commercialization yeah. through this plugin mm -hmm. um, with paying for vault yeah. press and paying for a backup. Now we're starting to see the plugins um, start to trickle down that are doing plugins uh, much more streamlined, much more available yeah. um, than you might find from the actual .org repository. Right. So gallery yeah and like this tile gallery yep. and then they have one yep. that's coming out as like a mosaic layout yeah um so now they're kind of solving that gallery plugin question yep. and now contact forms contact forms has always been an issue and there really aren't that many solutions there's yep. gravity forms and there's contact form seven we yep. looked at both of those yep. um previously there's not really any other really good ones yeah um now yep. this comes along and you know hey is this kind of stepping on the turf uh, of other commercial and, plugins that are out there and other free versions that people have put a lot of effort into. And that was gonna be just my suggestion too. It's it's similar to again, I hate to just keep talking about what I what I know so well, but <laughs> like the Apple scenario. Mm -hmm. When Apple releases a new update, like a like a Siri thing or something like that, and suddenly, oh, well there goes my business there if you're if you do something similar, like a voice assistant. Well, there goes that. They just they just did it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and things like that happen spring all the time spring yep. spring across all the time. Yep. So it becomes a concern of is this impeding on that sort of you know commerciality things like that, or is it you know a, a calling to these plugin providers to say, well, let's make a much nicer plugin with more options, or, yeah. or do something that they hadn't thought of before, and yeah. consistently innovate. Right. I, yeah, and I think you just hit it right there. Is you have to uh, the plugin developers have to be innovative. They have to keep pushing the bar a little bit uh, a little bit further, and um, you know it's, it's going to be interesting. Now this contact form through Jetpack. It's not certainly nowhere near as robust as as either of those two options, right. Gravity and Contact Form Seven. But right. this is just the beginning. Absolutely, this is just the beginning. One thing I did note here um, in the show notes here is that I think that in general, there's no substitute for a purely custom built website or a website where you have gone out and handpicked your favorite plugins or handpicked that perfect ecosystem like a Woo Woo Themes or you know Studio Press or something like that. 
But I also think that this is a great way, this, this one plug in overall is a great way to sort of get ideas mm -hmm. and to sort of just build your initial maybe run or something. And, you know, this is how this can work and this is how I can use that. And this is how this might benefit my business, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, I get my own blog and podcast over on mattreport.com where I interview a lot of folks mm -hmm. who are freelancers in this, in this market. Yeah. We're always talking about what do you do with that, that very small budget customer, yeah. that small budget client. You know what? This is a yeah. great way to, if you're a developer, designer, freelancer, this is a great plugin to just install with a, with a good core theme for a client yeah. and say, you know, here's all the options you get. You know, yeah. you get a contact form, you get a gallery. You know, if they're a very small budget, you can really solve those needs through this. Mm -hmm. Now you need something more elevated. You need more custom pages. You need better conversion rates. And then let's talk more custom. Right. But this is a great way to just quickly get something out the door and supported by uh, WordPress and then only have one plugin to worry about Absolutely. updating. Which, which is really cool. Um, and you can sort of activate them as you go. So I can activate certain ones, have them work, and deactivate. So it's almost like a plugin within a, pl a bunch of plugins within one plugin, which is which is which is pretty neat as well. Yeah, and it comes with a wp.me short link, mm -hmm. uh, which will go on every post or page yeah. um, to kind of shrink the URL. And yeah. I actually use that on my own blog for when I'm automating my blog posts to go out the next day. Yeah. So if I automate my blog post, right. what I'll also do is I'll go automate all my tweets right. and my uh, Mailchimp right. newsletter. So I'll just take that short code because it's uh, already going to be predetermined right. and I'll put it in my tweets and get everything ready to be auto posted the next right. day. So that's kind of cool. Right, because useful. it's built into the architecture. You don't that's have to right. go reach out to like a bitly or anything right. like that. Exactly. You know, like what's my, what, what is my link going to yeah. be when I post it tomorrow? Well, I'll have to make the short code now. Like, yeah, yeah, this yeah. already has it built yeah, in and I can just use it. There's, there's much less thought that goes into something like that where you want to focus on you know, creating the content and then letting that stuff just sort of fall into place. Yeah, the sharing um, feature is also oh, yeah. great. Uh, we usually use a plugin called Dig Dig. Um, mm -hmm. It has better buttons, I'd say, the Dig Dig one. There's a lot better. Yeah. There's a, there's some better options out there, but this is decent, basic. Yeah, it yeah. works. Once again, you're you're getting your options out there. You're just getting better options elsewhere. This is just a great way to throw it all into one. Right. But you get Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, LinkedIn, Yahoo, with the built-in publicize um, add-on, which is what that's called in Jetpack. Yep. So the, it's like plugins within plugins, kind of interesting model that they're doing. Uh, you know, I and you have to connect it to a WordPress.com account. So you do have to create an account uh, with WordPress.com to connect this with. Yeah. Don't as, you don't have to host the site on .com. Right. It can still be your .org hosted right. site. So. so almost completely free. I mean, the plugin itself is free. The you know creating an account on WordPress.com is free. Obviously, we talked about things like VaultPress and things like that, which you know may or may not get into into a cost basis there, but because you have to pay for cloud stores and whatnot, but Otherwise, you know, a, a free, a free plug in Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that's Jetpack in a nutshell. And there are even more yeah. add-ons out there. We we invite you to uh, download the plugin from the repo. I'm sure it'll shows up everywhere. Mm -hmm. I think it's like number one if you just go to plugins uh, in the repo as well. Uh, and and then take a look for yourself. Play around with it. Have fun. Yeah. Any anything else that you do with Jetpack or other features or plugins that you use with Jetpack? Do let us know in the comments. Absolutely. Uh, let us know what you want us to talk about next. Themes, plugins, Jetpack stuff, WordPress core stuff. Anything you want to know about WordPress? Leave it in the comments. Uh, we want to help you learn WordPress a little bit better. That's so cool. uh, and oh, we also want to get to 500 subscribers. Yeah. That is also super important. So do hit subscribe <laughs> if you like uh, us yapping away about WordPress. Join our VIP newsletter slocumstudio.com slash subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, guys.